we have the right to know. The right to know why sexual violence has never been acknowledged and recognized. Our first step is to acknowledge that there are violations. If we cannot give reparations to those victims, then where is hope? The search for truth is the basis of healing. The High Commissioner for Human Rights, Zaid al Hussein, urged the government of Kenya to ensure there's full accountability and remedies for victims. Today we celebrate uh, and commemorate the International Day for the Right to Truth concerning gross human rights violations and for the dignity of victims. How to unite Kenya? First, take a stand. The regime is a tyranny. Opposition holds no particular position. The regime took and is still taking so much from you, you cannot take it any longer. Opposition wants you to lose your mind. The only thing no one can take away from you. Rebel the state. Tell them even a throwback from 1952 won't keep you away from the idea of a new state. Tell them you're converting to a new state of mind. Today we celebrate uh, and commemorate the International Day for the Right to Truth concerning gross human rights violations and for the dignity of victims. This day is actually as a result of an archbishop called Oscar Romero, who on this day, 38 years ago, was assassinated as he celebrated Mass in El Salvador. I want us to also reflect on the journey that we have been on 15 years ago uh, as a result of uh, Professor Makao Mutua task force that recommended a, a Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission. And it's only after the post-election violence of 2007 that that Truth Commission was then established uh, under Kenya National Dialogue and Reconciliation process. In 2015, March, Uhuru Kenyatta issued his apology on the floor of Parliament. He directed Treasury to establish a restorative justice fund but nothing much has happened uh, since then. What we hope for is that there should be acknowledgement of violations that have been committed in the past, from the time of the colonial times, uh, to the time of the state of emergency, coming to the times of the shifter war, to the times of the, the era of the, of the massacres, and of course not forgetting the, in the 70s the various assassinations, whether it's Tom Boyer, whether it's J.M. Karyuki, whether it's Pio Gama Pinto, and you come into the 90s, and here we find uh, violations of various kinds. Uh, the detention without trial in the 80s of Kenya, Violations as a result of ethnic clashes in various parts of the Rift Valley and the coast region. And we come into 2007, we have the post-election violence in various parts of this country, where over 1,000 lives are lost. As civil society and victim groups, we have engaged the state law office, uh, the office of the Attorney General, to push for, through regulations, the a framework or reparations. And what Ro Romero did, he essentially called on all of us to remember the rights of the most vulnerable and oppose all forms of violence. Kenyan people. <laughs> Our first step is to acknowledge that there are violations. Nelson Madeira taught us that to deny people their human rights is to challenge their very humanity. The TJSC report recommended the setting up of a reparation mechanism for which the state shall be responsible. Further, it recommends the following forms of reparations to be provided to victims of historical injustices. These include, number one, restitution, Number two is compensation. Number three is rehabilitation, which is medical care and psychosocial service. And then we have satisfaction. This includes official declarations, restoring dignity and reputation, public apology, commemoration and tributes, and then guarantees of non-repetition. The TJSC report also recommended the establishment of a reparation fund 
to achieve the following aims. Compensating victims, both individually and communally, rehabilitation, and building mon memorial mon monuments. We refuse to remain stuck and the truth will stand. But we must move this country forward together. Let's speak to each other. Justice delayed. Actually, it's justice denied. We are asking for speedy action in as far as the implementation of the teacher receipt report. Even the 10 billion that was set aside, that fund is still very little. Truth is a constitutional right working hand in hand with effective remedy, legal judicial protection, effective investigation, free from torture, and the right to information and reparations. We, the survivors of sexual violence, represent a section of Kenya that is separated and discriminated by violation committed against us. It's not a visible crime, but its impact is there for all to see. There are children, there are medical conditions, there is disability, there is HIV, there is depression, and even death. We have the right to know. The right to know why sexual violence has never been acknowledged and recognized, why the reparations policy and regulations are not in place, and why conversation around our justice and our compensation is still shrouded in history. Muridusu masiku ili tufikie watu wetu kabla wajakufa. Ngaliene mahali ambaye amujaisabu HDPs ama wale victims. Ili tusijaribu kuwacha hata moja. Kwa sababu wengi saa hii wanaumia na watawacha hii mali ambayo tunatafuta hapa na ni haki yao kupata. Hope lies in justice. Hope lies in the truth. Hope lies in reconciliation. If we cannot give reparations to those victims, then where is hope? We take this opportunity to urge the expediting of the framework and the setting up of the Restorative Justice Fund. The High Commissioner for Human Rights, Zaid al Hussein, urged the government of Kenya to ensure there's full accountability and remedies for victims of sexual and gender-based violence. Member states of the United Nations are required under international human rights law to make available adequate, effective, prompt, and appropriate remedies, including reparation to victims of human rights violations. Governments have a duty to ensure its security agencies refrain from engaging in violence against women and must exercise due diligence to prevent, investigate, and punish acts of violence against women, whether those acts are perpetrated by the state, by private persons, or by armed groups. We must break the cycle of elections and violence against women and girls. This requires first and foremost acknowledgement that something went wrong and must be fixed. Thank you. Asante Nisan. Thank you very much. Indeed, I'm a woman of faith. Truth is the rock foundation of every great character. Truth can stand alone. When a man discovers a great truth in nature, he has the key to the understanding of a million phenomena. Hundreds of other Kenyans who have been left as widows or widowers or, or, or childless parents, orphans, people who have lost loved ones, friends, who have stood at the graves of their loved ones, seeking justice and crying, searching for the truth. Truth and the search for truth is the basis of healing. And without truth, peace becomes elusive. Truth precedes justice. In the words of Nelson Mandela, only the truth can put the past to rest. People cannot be lying dead in graves without explanations, without wanting to know what happened. Why? Who did it? 
acknowledgement of harm suffered by victims and survivors is the beginning of national healing. The commission brought to the fore the commitment made by the government and His Excellency the President in 2015 regarding reparations for victims and survivors of historical injustices in the country by offering a public apology to victims and subsequently setting up a, a Kenya Shilling 10 billion uh, uh, Kenya Shilling Restorative Justice Fund. We call upon government to immediately operationalize this fund. We stand here to call uh, for reparations for all victims of historical injustices. The Kenya National Commission on Human Rights calls upon county governments to make budgetary allocations for memorials in their counties where massacres took place in order to remember the survivors as Tennyson. Dear parents, help me and my mother to forget the pain. Stop the pointing finger. Smile, dear Kenyans, as you look at me. Because I'm just like any other tree. Na ipenda Kenya yetu na weweje. Thank you. Sadi sana. Na ipenda Kenya yetu na weweje.